Hey everybody, what's up? My name is Doug, and today I've got a review of a different brand and different style of baseball cap for you. So I'm often out and I see uh, fitted caps and stretch fitted caps made by Nike, and to date I had not tried one. So uh, I finally went out and picked one up. This is a stretch fit model. It's called the Classic 99, and I'd like to tell you about what I found with this cap. We can start with the cap details, and I first picked up a large extra large. Again, this is a stretch fitted, and there are three size ranges available for this. Much like the New Era 3930, which is the other popular stretch fit model that I have a few caps of. Now this one's got the standard six panel construction with a structured crown that's got the buckram underneath it to reinforce those front two panels and give it its shape. I would actually call this a mid to high crown, but it's got a nice round shape to it. It comes with a pre-curved visor, and my guess is that that's an all-plastic visor on the inside. The other notable feature with Nike is that this is labeled as a dry fit performance cap. And when you check the materials tag, you find that the body, the construction of the cap, the fabric panels, those are 97% polyester, 3% spandex to give you the stretch. The buckram is listed as 100% polyester. Under visor material is listed as 100% cotton. I would say that the visor shape is a little bit more angular on the corners and it's a little bit more squared off, which is something that you find in the 3930. Just a little bit more square on the corners, a smaller radius there than you find on a normal 5950 fitted. And then when you move to the front, the logo on the front side is raised and embroidered. Now it does really look like almost a patch on this cap, not just embroidery direct through those fabric panels. So I'm not sure if that is true of all these classic 99 model stretch fit caps or just the one that I picked up. And then as you move around the cap, you'll see the Nike swoosh on the left hand wear side. And at the back, there's a logo word mark on the back two panels at the lower end around the sweatband area. Now, when you flip to the inside of the cap, it is first shipped with a cardboard insert on the inside of those front two panels to support and protect it against any damage to the front buckram. You'll find plain green seam tape. I'm not sure if that was tonal match because this is a green cap or if they use green across the board. My guess is that this will be more of a color match to whatever cap colorway you're buying. The sweatband is actually pretty nice. It's got some ribbing and some moderate levels of padding. It is very soft and compliant. And then when you flip that sweatband down, I can see some very quality construction details where they've put in sort of the uh, joint between the outer panels of the fabric and added the sweatband to that. So it looks like a very clean connection. And as such, it looks like pretty good craftsmanship went into this cap. Personally, my experience with this cap, having worn it a few times now, is really strong. I would say this is a really well-made and comfortable cap. It is so soft, but it's got that structured crown that gives it that more tailored look which is something I love about on-field and other 5950 fitteds. But this is a great blend. It's, it's the blend of comfort and kind of that crisp look that you get with that higher crown, structured crown, and sort of the nice details around the cap. In fact, I'd say that the material and the sweatband are both so soft and cozy that uh, those are the highlights of the cap for me. Of course, it's a little floppy. Um, you know, it doesn't have the stiffness of a traditional fitted that's not stretch stretchable. You get that stretch fabric and as a result, it's kind of um, does not keep its shape when it's not on your head, but that's what you expect out of a stretch fit anyways. And the result is just an exceptionally comfortable cap. The other highlight for me is actually the crown shape. It's uh, really the perfect height for me for what I look for. And again, it's got a nice round, uh, sort of a softer corner here than you'll find on some fitted caps. And just to give you a reference, here it is on my head once again. And uh, I'll give it a little turn here, but Again, it just feels lighter. It feels nicer than the 5950 that I have had on for much of this video. Um, it's just a really comfy fit, but I don't think you have to sacrifice the look because as you can see here, the crown's at a good height for me. Uh, nice curve on the visor, which is normally the way I wear it. And then uh, it's just really uh, compliant and soft around the perimeter of the cap. The sweatband is great. It's just a terrific cap. 
Now it does settle a little bit deep on my eyebrows and especially if I'm wearing glasses. I don't know if that's a little bit of the combination of the sizing and the depth of the crown, but uh, that's really minor. And still, I like it a lot better than the 3930 actually. Uh, I find 3930s somewhat uncomfortable. They seem to have a nice sweatband, but it can irritate me after a while. And the large, extra large size in most of the 3930s I have is not quite as roomy as it is in this cap. In short, I would say that this Nike Classic 99 Stretch Fit cap has moved onto the list of the most comfortable caps that I own and wear. I think it's a great alternative to the 3930 and other Stretch Fit models that I've tried. Seems like this model of cap, along with the Nike uh, Fitteds, are often geared towards collegiate licenses and teams. So it would probably mean me buying more college themed caps rather than MLB or NBA, which is my normal bread and butter caps that I buy. So there you have it. Check it out if you're interested. I think it's a great cap and I can easily recommend it. Now down below in the description, I've always got links to some of my classic videos on how to uh, stretch, shape, shrink, otherwise edit and maintain the caps that you own. And as always, thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.